initiative, as many of you know, was launched by the American Council on Education, or ACE, to encourage U.S. diversity and international units on university campuses to identify synergies and strengthen collaboration, primarily around the common goals of intercultural competence. So that's, that was the impetus for this project. And, and we felt uh, that it was really important to get faculty engaged and really have a strong curricular piece to, to the collaboration. <coughs>
what they consume as well. But we've already taught this course once, um, not this past summer, but the summer before last, but we want the grant was really to formalize it. What we were really trying to emphasize um, is have the, the students engage in um, an active learning process through, throughout the five weeks that they're with us. So they actually get to do sensory experiences, seeing different um, ingredients that go into a variety of, of cultural foods, smelling them, touching them, um, and then also doing tastings throughout the class. So there is a, a very experiential component of the class. The students um, have kind of a, a self-reflection project that they do. So um, they look at their, their biases that they potentially could have um, around food and culture and interacting with other people from different cultures and how that kind of manifests in um, self-awareness and views of others and how just having the experience of actually being able to taste some foods that they may not have experience to in their limited world could potentially um, open doors of communication with, with cultural groups that they might not otherwise have interactions with. The idea of the pre-departure modules is to um, get them to reflect both on uh, elements of their own selves that are important to them, things that um, they identify as values or points in their own personal identities, to get them to extract from that also things that they share with their home country, things that are more collective points or markers of identity. Um, and then also begin to think about the stereotypes and, and generalizations that they believe that others have about their home country and those collective uh, markers of cultural identity. The final one for the pre-departure is to uh, uh, have students identify what they think of as global engagement or this notion of, of being uh, a member of a, of a larger community than is, than is just their home campus or their home country. So framing global awareness basically. So getting uh, them to reflect on how they looked at others while they were in that international experience, wherever they were. The last three of the modules for the uh, post-international experience deal with um, uh, evolving notions of global citizenship, which um, that one is, is still very underdeveloped in part because there's uh, a clear lack of consensus about what global citizenship is and how to assess that. Our objectives were geared towards global knowledge um, to understanding what is the, the problems that we're facing with feeding our world. How can we engage in more knowledge base and the cultural um, issues and the uh, uh, pros and cons of, of markets and, and growing food, what are the limitations, uh, what are the resources needed, and how does that affect our economy and also our society. I was actually able to connect with Summer Start program, uh, and it was the first time ever it was kind of mentioned, how can we take your content and link it to an English 110? And so that content actually got linked. So students who enrolled in my class also enrolled with the perspective that all of their English content would be driven by the agricultural content that I was explaining in my class. And so in part of doing their, their broad perspective of global knowledge, um, the students were to select a crop that was feeding the world. And they had to do kind of a synopsis of what um, components could potentially um, influence people's knowledge of how that crop is used, how it's used by society, maybe some uh, objectives of what would be the reason that would slow down the process of people having food on their plate and really putting the realities to that. The topic that we're interested in in general is volunteerism. So it is exactly what it sounds like, um, a trend towards taking trips abroad to participate in service activities. And this happens in a number of different contexts. And um, there are lots of different types of projects that volunteers take on. Some of the most typical ones would be things like uh, construction or working in a school or working in a village. 
what we want to do as we address this topic is not develop an entire course per se, but rather we are developing a module that can be embedded in a lot of different courses to help inform students about this topic. Um, this trend towards volunteerism has got a lot of uh, positives. There are a lot of opportunities that come with it. And then there are also some concerns that come with it as well if it's not handled right. And that's generally what we like to educate students about. So positive are all things you can imagine. Yeah, that come along with being able to experience more culture and stuff we've seen today and, and as many of us know, to broaden the students' view of themselves and broaden their views of other cultures and help them uh, develop intercultural competence and be able to contribute something meaningful um, and needed to another community, if it's done right. Um, if it's not done in an optimal fashion, then there are some concerns that come along with it, including potentially the volunteers being ill-prepared for the work that they're being asked to do. Um, sometimes they might stumble into cross-cultural and cultural blunders if they're not adequately prepared deal with that culture. And then there are even broader issues, such as potentially taking jobs away from the community if the assignments and the work aren't carved out in a thoughtful manner by the sponsoring of the work.